The Giants Causeway is famous not only for its natural beauty, but because there are two theories as to how it evolved. One, the more natural one, which was a, a debate between Vulcanists and Neptunists, uh, who said that it was either caused by volcanoes or it was caused by the sea. The argument around that was it flied, flew in the face of religion because God created the world in six days and at this point in time, around about the 1760s when it was first painted, uh, there was a debate as to whether the world had evolved or whether it was created. Still going on today between evolutionists and creationists. And the Giants Causeway was the focus of that because as people realised that this was a, a formation of rocks caused by a volcano crashing into the sea and forming these stacks, uh, they realised that perhaps the Bible, if not wrong, could not be taken literally. And eventually that was to cause Darwin uh, to confirm his theory of evolution. And that's the theory, that's the main historical significance of the Giants Causeway. The other significance is, of course, that there's an argument between two giants, an Irish giant and a Scottish giant. The Irish giant, Finn McCool, was arguing with his counterpart, a Scottish giant, called Ben O'Donnell. And they created this causeway over to Scotland, which is about 12 miles away. And as the Scottish giant was coming over, the Irish giant realised he was so big and he hid. And the Scottish giant saw, saw him hiding in a cradle or in a pram, covered by a blanket by his mother, said, well, if that's a baby, I'd hate to see the father. And he destroyed the causeway on the way back. Uh, and this is this is a real reason for Jan's Causeway. Uh, it's the causeway between Scotland and Ireland. Mm -hmm.